Well, I purchased this uh, Maxi AP200 Complete Vehicle Diagnostic Scan Dongle. Um, it's Bluetooth to a smartphone, in my case an Android phone. And uh, we're going to... Uh, I've already set it up and, and paired the unit and registered it online and then sc scanned the QR code on the side of the, the unit to pair it to the uh, software. Downloaded the software. Uh, OBD2 software is free. And then they give you one year of your choice of manufacturer for manufacturer-specific diagnostics. I chose the GM for free, but you can pick any one. And then each other vehicle manufacturer that is supported is 15 US uh, for one year of access. Uh, if you're just doing a couple of vehicles, that's pretty reasonable. So I'm going to set this up and uh, connect it to the vehicle and try and record the screens on the on this uh, on my phone. So of course the uh, adapter plugs into the OBD2 port and on my 06 GMC it's on the <coughs> left side of the just above the brake park brake pedal and there's a green light that comes on to indicate power at the DLC and that LED will turn blue once it's connected via, via Bluetooth to the smartphone and the software I haven't got the software running yet. So the LED on the dongle is turned to blue, which means it's connected to the running software uh, via Bluetooth to the phone. I'm going to start up another piece of third-party software to record the screens here. Hopefully my voice will uh, record as an overlay as well. Okay, I believe this thing is recording now. And here it is in the uh, EOBD screen. And uh, you can see that I've downloaded and installed uh, GM, Ford, and Dodge. Uh, I see Dodge and Chrysler are separate. I'm not sure what the difference is, but regardless. So I'm going to pick GM here. Hopefully this is recording and I'm not going to end up doing this all for nothing. Turn the key on. Turn the radio off here. Might as well start it. Put the AC on, it's a little warm this morning. Okay, so it supports automatic ID, so we can click read VIN. And it should read the VIN from the vehicle, and it does. If that's correct, press OK. Uh, automatic and that's going to ask you a bunch of questions re depending on the the vehicle you're connected to on this one It asks about the transfer case. So this does have an automatic transfer case. It is a four button selectable transfer case the truck is equipped with CJ2 dual zone HVAC automatic It has a nav radio and it's under 8600 GVW It also has rear drum brakes. So I'm selecting all of those as we go uh, this gives us the option to review it, and we're going to say yes, that is correct. And it's going to establish vehicle communication. Now we can do an auto scan or go into a specific controller. So the auto scan is what I'm going to select top left, and it will pull all of the controllers in the vehicle and see if there are codes in them. So powertrain, anti-lock brakes, it's fairly quick. Uh, I'm going to say probably about two minutes, or may, maybe a minute and a half to two minutes to get through this list. And I believe on my vehicle it's going to pull about 14 controllers. This is an 06 GMC Sierra. 14 controllers is, uh, is more than it actually has. I have a code in the BCM. And I think there's a code in the nav radio as well, because I've already done this once. Notice down in the bottom left hand corner it gives the option to do a quick erase, which basically tells all the controllers to erase all codes, which is handy. You wouldn't want to do that initially, you want to read the codes. I'm scrolling over, save a re you can go and look at the report once it's finished. 
or you can go to the individual controller that has a reported fault and uh, go into more detail in that in that system we're about halfway through 56 percent we're up to 12 modules it's on the driver's door module now heating and air conditioning system passenger door module now I have a, a full-blown Maxisys scan tool and it runs on an Android platform and this is very similar to the Maxisys software that is running on that now that's a uh, about a three thousand dollar tool I paid 45 US for this AP 200 uh, a Bluetooth adapter and as I said the software you download for free for EOBD and one vehicle for a year one vehicle manufacturer for a year Otherwise, it's 15 US per manufacturer for one year software access. We're up to 96%, 100%. So, 19, well, 18 controllers, 19 is a diagnostic circuit check. Let's do, let's scroll sideways here. And go on to a report here and see what report so so the body control module has a fault and the nav radio has a fault and it should be down at the bottom of the list there it is B2615 passenger compartment dimming circuit I've got LED uh, interior lights and the BCM doesn't see the correct current flow on those lights so it sets a fault code for the interior <laughs> lights and uh, a network code on uh, class 2 data somebody's texting me so let's uh, escape to go back and go into the powertrain so I'm gonna click 1 and OK and look at live data in the powertrain controller automatic transfer case data engine live data transmission live they're gonna to go to engine live data now there could be multiple data lists there engine data one engine data two fuel trims misfire enhanced evap oxygen sensors cruise control throttle actuator so I'm just gonna pick engine data one and it'll pull up a data list um, up in the top right hand corner of the screen you see the word edit and next to it a little rectangular or square box with it looks like a pen in it if I click that it begins recording as it is now data being recorded it records data uh, any one of these data parameters I can click the wrench icon and click graph and then click back and it will graph data the engines idling right now I'm gonna rev it up refresh rate is respectable you can also click the edit button and deselect or build a custom data list I haven't figured out if you can arrange the data parameters in any order and like all Autel and OTC tools stuff that's not on the screen while you're recording doesn't appear to get recorded but I haven't had a chance to confirm that as yet So there's a uh, bank one oxygen sensor that should be switching. Let's check it in a graph mode. Yeah, it appears to be switching from about 100 to 900 millivolts should be the, the range. I believe you can also customize the, uh, the limits on the graphs too. As I said, I've only worked with this for about 15 minutes. So it's similar to the Maxisys software. So I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to stop this recording first of all, which I did, and then it gives me the option to save it. Uh, looks like you can upload it for diagnostic purposes, or you can just save the, there's an upload icon on the top right, and there's a floppy disk icon. I'm going to click the floppy disk icon and saving, so save the data log, and I'm going to hit escape to exit out. Now I was looking at this software earlier, and I realize I'm hitting escape to go back 
escape, 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 all the way back, and I'm going to exit, yes, and I'm going to X, escape again, and escape again, and I noticed that there was, wasn't, didn't appear to be any bi-directional controls, but then I found out that if you click this service button, you have very various capabilities to do bi-directional controls, so let's try injectors here on this GM and see if we can control the injectors automatic selection manual selection oh no, no, I'm gonna escape let's go automatic selection read the VIN so I don't know why they have that in the separate section I, that seems odd I gotta redo this all And see if it has the ability to kill injectors one at a time. Under hot function, powertrain, fuel injector balance test. Well, this is the balance test that requires the installation. Yeah, this one is going to require the installation of the fuel pressure gauge on the fuel lines. So you have to connect the fuel pressure gauge to the fuel rail, and this is done with the key on engine off. So it looks like it's going to do it. I'm going to shut the key off and turn the key back on. Turn the heater fan off. Turn the radio off. So I can hear if the injector is being pulsed. Okay, so I'm going to scroll over and pick injector 1. Theoretically, you're supposed to put a fuel pressure gauge on this thing and... Commanded state, procedure in progress. It ran the fuel pump. I'm going to click on the commanded state injector one. Hmm. Really need a fuel pressure gauge. Let's do injector two. I heard the fuel pump run. Well, we're going to exit out. Let's see, it probably is over here. Yeah, escape. 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 Keep going back. Should be able to do oil life reset. But you have to select each one. I don't know why you have to do that. Well, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but considering the capabilities of this thing, it's pretty pretty impressive for a $50 scan tool. Uh, I haven't found any other smartphone-based scan tool that will, you know, scan multiple processors most of them are strictly obd2 some with enhanced capability like torque and blue driver and uh, obd scan and various i've got three or four apps on my phone well that's it for now um tell me what you think